My first job I ever had after leaving communication school as a second lieutenant was serving an infantry battalion, and I had 60 Marines that I was responsible for making sure that they had lodging, food, clothing, the, the whole nine yards. So for a 24-year-old man graduating from college, going through officer's candidate school and all the training that, that follows that, that was a large responsibility, one that I was prepared to do based on the training that I'd received. But if you were to take me prior to receiving all that training and tell me to do the same job, there was no way that I would ever be prepared for that. The hardest part about that job was just dealing with the unknown. You want to plan for everything, but there are just some things that, that are, are not known. So you do the best you can do. You fall upon your standard operating procedures, and you do the best you can do it every day. Right now, my current job is the course coordinator for the Basic Communications Officers course, and I currently have 73 students who I'm responsible for the training and have seven captains that um, assist me in providing that um, communications education for those students. Okay, you understand that this is the easy part. You're in a static location. Tomorrow morning, while it's still dark outside, you're going to be bounding from location to location, LZ to LZ. Also with your TAC nets. When you roll into a new location, it should only take 15, 20 minutes tops to get your TAC nets up. You guys are so caught up in the novology of the radio and making the radio work from an operator standpoint. Is that part of it? Yes, sir. As far as gear or systems that we use, uh, for data, we use a lot of industry standard type um, data equipment. When these young men and women leave here, they leave with an industry standard certification that if they were to ever leave the Marine Corps someday, they would have that tangible benefit of a certification they could take to an employer and they'd be very marketable as well as while they're in the Marine Corps, they're learning industry standard techniques that the Marine Corps applies on a daily basis.